The debate to have MMDCs elected has been ongoing intermittently in the Fourth Republic, but more intense in the lead up to a referendum that would have led to the objective being realized that was ultimately abandoned by government back in 2019. While amending Articles 2431 as well as 553 of the Constitution have become hurdles, Dr. Ali Duseidu of the Political Science Department of the University of Ghana insists it is the commitment from government and political actors that is needed so far. People dread the fact that when we open up the local level system to partisan participation, we're going to have a, a repeat of what is happening at the national level, purely at the local level, including the fact that there's too much acrimonious campaign, there's too much personal attacks, there's too much bickering, there's too much violence, there's too much um, uh, name calling and monetization in the system. But when you compare these things to the fact that participation has been very low at the local government level compared to the national level, then you'll be able to understand the role that political parties play. Political parties have been able to become a uh, conduit for electoral participation, and that has been very, very magnificent. For Dr. Ali Duseidu, building bipartisan support for the proposed constitutional amendment is urgently needed as the subject is looked at again. When we allow uh, the selection of election of MMDCs on a partisan basis, it creates an alternative competitive governance system. At the local level where you have a stronger political party other than in government electing an MMDCs, they are able to challenge government policies, holistic government policies, provide credible alternatives to government policies and be able to suggest policy alternatives that can inure to the benefit of their local people. But two, what it also suggests is that it brings accountability to the doorstep of the local people. The MMDC is now answerable to the people who have elected him and not to the central government who appoints him. So whether it is an NDC or MPP or CPP elected MMDCs who is quite different from the government of the day in Accra here, they will be forced to work together, collaborate and build consensus for the betterment of the people of, of the local area.